Hey everyone, Genevieve here for my newest video on our, our full moon tomorrow afternoon, right before 3 p.m. in Libra. Um, so this is our full moon that is really the kickoff of spring. It is the uh, holiday weekend of Easter for those who celebrate. Um, today is Good Friday. Um, and so this full moon is very much all about the spring rebirth energy, right? Um, a couple weeks ago, we had the new moon in Aries, which really kind of was the beginning of that. Um, and now with the full moon, we're culminating, uh, truly spring, not only spring like weather, everybody is out and about today, uh, you know, getting their gardens ready, they're mowing, they're planting, they are like me doing some spring cleaning finally, or over the course of the last couple of days, um, just really renewing your, your home space, your outdoor space, um, uh, changing out your clothes for us that live kind of in the northern hemisphere because our, you know, weather is, although it's been back and forth a little bit, it was very cold a few days ago and or evenings ago, and then it was very hot, and now it's back to kind of a moderate, nice 70 degrees. Um, but it's time to put away our winter clothes, bring out our spring clothes, uh, just do, I mean, I've been dusting, cleaning windows, doing washing curtains, scrubbing walls, mopping floors. Uh, Steve has finally finished the bathroom and ceiling project in the kitchen. Let me just, well, I'll reverse the phone in a little bit and show you. My ceiling is finally back in my kitchen and my kitchen is just about back together and I'm so ecstatic. So, um, again, with a full moon, we are wrapping up things uh, and to get ready for the the culmination, the the reaping of all the goals, everything that you've tried to accomplish thus far. And uh, it's coming about. So first, before I get into the, the lunar energy, um, I want to just uh, take a minute, thank everyone, number one, for um, praying and asking and, and keeping my mom in your thoughts and your prayers. She is doing much better. Um, she is set to come home next Wednesday. Um, there's still some work to be done. She is going to have some in-home health care uh, help once she gets home to really kind of get used to a different a different way of uh, living because she has still a lot of healing to go. Um, she is now eating again, speaking mostly regularly. Um, her health issue crisis is just about at its end but now the really the hard work begins which is the mental part of adapting to a change adapting to a new way of living of eating of you know quitting smoking um of really trying to get healthier in small baby steps because you know it takes a long time to for our bodies to get that way and you don't heal overnight you don't you know, suddenly get all better again. Um, but she's a work in progress, but she is definitely doing a lot better. So thank you very much. Um, you know, please just continue to keep her in your positive thoughts, your pr prayers, uh, you know, your meditations, positive energy is very much appreciated. Um, so now Again, we've got a full moon in Libra. The sign of Libra is an air sign. It is the sign of balance, of beauty, of creativity, of, of romantic love, um, of just seeing the beauty around you in nature. Aries, again, the fire sign, creative, passionate, driven, um, sometimes very headstrong, sometimes a little, you know, just like the ram, a little bit too much aggression and too much forward thinking. So... Once again, fire and air work very well together, but they can be very creative and positive force, or they can be a very destructive force, depending on how you work with the energy. I think mostly um, this full moon is going to be positive for those who take the higher road. Um, it, it is a transforming energy, so there may be some things, uh, personal crises or other very difficult challenges that come about abruptly that you're going to have to work through. Some some of you might do or have embarrassing things happen to you. Um, secrets might be exposed. There may be a little bit of aggression, jealousy, hostility. However, um, 
if people are acting that way towards you, it's only because they see you doing well and they are trying to knock you down, okay? And so you've got to rationally, again, be the mature Aries and the mature Libra and really just kind of take that, that jealousy, that gossip, whatever it may be, and turn it inward and say, well, that's just... I should be flattered by that. That's because people really are noticing that what I'm doing is the right thing and I'm doing well and I'm being successful and they're trying to tear me down. So don't take criticism to heart. Learn from it. There could be some truth in it. There could be some things that you could take from it to improve upon in your life. But if you know yourself and just like a Libra, you know, is the balance of the scales, don't let the negativity outweigh your positivity, okay? And don't let the Aries fire of passion and creativity turn destructive. Um, you will, um, you, you may encounter, again, some some people combating you, and, and you really have to, sometimes you do have to fight fire with fire, um, but as we get a little bit more mature and wiser, we learn that we have to pick our battles, okay? And I look at it this way. People, again, if, if they're exposing a secret, if they are, you know, trying to air some dirty laundry of yours, or if they're trying to, like, pick out your negative qualities to make it look like you don't deserve the success that you have, well, I... I, I always as an Aquarius have the philosophy of if I tell you all of my dirt ahead of time then what else do you have to say about me and a Libra is very much that way too this is who I am Aries very much the same way this is who I am take it or leave it but there's nothing that you can dig up on me that's going to make me fat, bat, feel bad about myself if I've al already told you about it first right so um, just walk around with that same attitude I am who I am. I'm proud of who I am. I may have made mistakes, but I'm human. That is part of the reason of the holiday we're about ready to celebrate. You know, the birth and, and resurrection of Jesus. Um, and again, my windows are open because it's spring. And so we're airing everything out and everything's loud outside. And that's fine. Um, what does it represent? It represents the cleansing away of all our misdeeds. Um, and a, a clean slate, if you will, a chance to be reborn, to start again, to do better, right? So again, take setbacks for what they are. They are a learning experience. They're a challenge to overcome, but learn the lessons from them and then just move forward. Um, so if, if any of you actually looked at the link that I share with the article, which again, I do love this source on their other great sources to read a little bit more about the moon energy and the planetary energy. Um, but I like Astrology King, um, and he's never really done this before, but this time he actually, at the bottom of, you know, explaining all the planetary energy, describes what this specific full moon means for each sign. So if you read your sign, first your sun sign, then your moon sign, if you know it, and then specifically your Mars sign, because again, Aries is ruled by Mars, um, you'll find out, you know, really what kind of energy, what, what to expect over the course of the next few days and a couple of weeks leading up to the next new moon. Um, so my oil blend that I created for this a couple of years ago but again I feel like it's going to work very well um, there's a lot of action goal oriented um, oils that are included there are some calming ones balancing ones because again you want to let the cool level-headed Libra you know ideals kind of keep you in balance keep you in check a little bit um, but I call it cardinal again Libra and Aries are both cardinal signs, which means that they are action goal oriented, but also very changeable and adaptable. Um, and so my cardinal blend also, again, signifies spring, signifies, I, I've, I've seen several cardinal uh, pairs flying about in the last week or so. And they're also a sign, they really are, of uh, when you see a cardinal, a lot of people believe that that is a spirit of a loved one who has passed that is visiting you, just saying hi, just, you know, um, 
just wishing you well and letting them know that they're with you on maybe a difficult uh, part of your life right now. So I, I love cardinals. They are definitely one of my favorite birds, but I love most birds. Um, so uh, again, oh, by the way, if you notice, I'm not wearing my readers and that is because I recently finally broke down and got prescription uh, bifocal contact lenses. So it took a little bit to get used to. So when I look at the phone and then I, you know, something far away and then close to read it, um, you might see me doing a little bit of this, but at least I don't have to lug around three extra power glasses with me wherever I go. So that's always a plus. All right. So Cardinal Blend includes Pettigrain, Angelica Root, Valerian, Sandalwood, Clary Sage, Frankincense and Myrrh, Hyssop, Palo Santo, Dragon's Blood, and I'm actually going to add a little bit of uh, something more florally, maybe um, maybe some rose or maybe some neroli, just to give it a little more sweetness, because again, it is also about romantic, passionate energy. You can definitely use this time of year to express your um, more romantic or passionate or sexy side. Um, so all of those, most of those are really kind of earthy, grounding, stabilizing. They calm you down. They prevent panic. They prevent overreaction. Um, they, they just keep you kind of level-headed and, and not too rash in action or thought, right? Um, they're also very spiritual, of course. We have Angelica Root. Um, as you know, I work with Angel. I do a lot of angel work. Um, and, you know, some actually gave my mother. She, my mother is a firm believer in uh, guardian angels and um, the archangels. And so when I visited her today, I brought her a little... Um, green jasper statue of uh Raphael who is the healer um the healing you know protecting but healing uh archangel so um and the dragon's blood again it is very protective very healing it it definitely will um prevent any negative forces from coming at you. So um, that is a resin, as I've mentioned before. So I do have to grind it up into a finer powder and then, you know, mix it with the other oils to liquefy it. Um, but as you do diffuse or um, burn it in an oil burner, it will thicken again. So you'll ha just have to keep, you know, adding carrier oils or other oils to it to keep it liquefied um, or water. And um, so, again, the full moon is tomorrow afternoon. So tonight and tomorrow night, as long as your skies are clear, you will see the full moon at its biggest. Um, so the time to charge all of your crystals, the time to meditate, pray, um, celebrate, you know, whatever it is that you are manifesting for this full moon. And then, um, you know, diffuse, uh, sage, whatever you need. If there's anything that needs purification, uh, it's a good time to do that. Stay calm, stay peaceful. Again, stay balanced, centered, um, get a great time for physical activity. So if you are feeling any of that aggravation or anything that is bothering you, um, get moving, get your body moving. It will definitely help burn anything off. So again, blessed be, namaste, happy full moon, diffuse my cardinal blend or whatever, um, you like to do to celebrate until next time, guys, blessed be, namaste, and happy Easter to those who celebrate. Bye-bye.